One of the most common errors we see with lasers running Gerbil firmware is Alarm 2, Soft Limit, which means your machine has been sent a cut, engrave, or travel command that would cause it to travel outside of its work area. Here are a few causes and fixes for Alarm 2. If you're using current position or user origin, make sure your laser or custom set origin is positioned so that the entire design can fit in the laser's work area relative to your job origin selection. If you're just starting out, we highly recommend using absolute coordinates since it's the easiest to understand. Wherever your design is placed in Lightburn's workspace, it will be cut in the corresponding place on your machine. If your project contains graphics set to fill or image mode, make sure they're positioned far enough from the edges of the machine to accommodate overscanning. Extra travel movements that give your laser space to accelerate and decelerate before and after firing. Overscanning produces a cleaner burn, but it means you'll need enough distance from the edge of your laser's work area to account for it. If space is tight, disable or reduce overscanning or reduce job speed in the Cut Settings Editor. Click on the wrench icon in the top toolbar to open the Device Settings window and check that your machine's origin and working size are set correctly. For almost all Gerbil-based lasers, the origin should be set to the bottom left corner. If your machine uses negative coordinates and homes to the top right, set the origin there and enable CNC Machine. Double check your manufacturer's specifications for the working area of your machine and make sure you're using the proper unit of measurement. If Lightburn is set to inches, make sure to convert dimensions provided in millimeters. If you upgraded your laser using an extension kit, you must update its dimensions in both Lightburn and the machine's firmware. In some cases, you can update the firmware directly through console or machine settings window in Lightburn but you should always check with the laser manufacturer for instructions specific to your laser. If your laser has limit switches, press the home button in the move window to home it. Then click get position to see the position it reports. If it reports a position other than 00, zero in this position, it means the homing switches aren't functioning or you have an unnecessary workspace offset set in your firmware. Make sure the cables are plugged in between the homing switches and the controller, and any screws holding them in place are secure. If they're functioning but the position is incorrect, enter dollar sign capital RST equals pound in the console window to clear any unnecessary offsets. If your laser doesn't have limit switches, to home it you must move the head by hand to its origin before powering it on. If you're working with a rotary and the distance you're commanding your rotary to turn exceeds the laser's normal max travel limit in the wide dimension, temporarily disable soft limits in your laser's firmware by entering $20 equals zero in the console window or toggling off soft limits in the machine settings window. When you return to flat engraving, be sure to re-enable soft limits by entering $20 equals one in the console window or toggling the switch back on. If you're not working with a rotary, double check that you haven't accidentally enabled rotary mode. You may see a switch in the laser window. If not, go to laser tools, rotary setup, and make sure it's disabled there. Visit our documentation and support forum for more troubleshooting tips. And be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos on mastering Lightburn.